Hello, my dear YouTubers. It's almost time that we're going to die. It's almost the 23rd. And we are all going to hell. If you would believe many of the Christians that are making videos about CERN. And no insults, because I know a lot of Christians. I was raised religious. My mom's religious. Many of my girlfriends that I had were religious. So that's not, that's not the point. You know, the thing is, when people, not even just religious people, when people start talking about, excuse me, when people start talking about things that they know nothing about, and that's what happened, just, if you guys don't know what CERN is, just type in CERN hell, or CERN black hole or something, and you'll see a lot of these people, and here's the thing. Most of these people are basing what they're talking about on that one pastor that made a, made a video. I don't know if he made a video, but it's that one pastor that was talking a lot of things about CERN that didn't really make sense. For instance, he said that antimatter and dark matter are the same thing. Antimatter and dark matter are not the same thing. Anyone that knows even a little bit about physics would know that, and I'm not even a physicist. I'm not gonna say I know shit about physics, but I know enough to know that dark matter isn't the same as antimatter. And even if you don't, if you do a little research on it, you would know that, that, that they're not the same thing. And I think the reason people are so afraid of this dark matter is because it has the word dark in it. But that the reason they have the word dark in it is because they don't really know what it is you know they can measure it and they know that they probably think it's what's holding everything together but just because it's called dark matter doesn't mean that it's from the darkness that it's like from hell or something and antimatter isn't dark matter antimatter is the same as matter but it has an opposite charge that's not to ah, I'm sorry, but these things just kind of make make me lose faith in humanity. <laughs> and not all, of course. There are plenty of people making videos disproving it. And the reason I'm making this video is because my cousin sent me a video about CERN, and he's not even religious. And he sent me a, a video about CERN, being all concerned that hey, 23rd, we're gonna die. And, well, he was the same guy that believed that Nibiru was going to end us in 2012. Which I actually almost believed for like a few months until I did the research and saw that it was two different stories combined to make a story that wasn't there. Which is the same thing that's happening right now. I mean, just like, just like another thing. He says that they're taking, they're pulling antimatter out of nowhere. What? They're pulling antimatter out of nowhere, out of this other dimension? We don't even know if we can create a gateway to another dimension. So how the hell are they pulling antimatter out of this dimension? You know, a lot of people are scared that they're gonna make black holes. Even if they do make a black hole, it's gonna be so minuscule that it's gonna evaporate in an instant. It's not gonna be there long enough to do anything except for to let scientists study it you know i mean why are you guys so afraid of science well you know i don't even think that's i don't even think that's it i think that a lot of these religious people not even just christian a lot of these religious people want the world to end and granted this society is fucked up i'll be honest with you i'll give you that this world is really messed up and well, we got our own to blame for that, but that, that might be a video for another day. But a lot of these religious people, they are looking for, looking for signs that the world is ending. That's what they want. They want the world to end, I guess. I guess they want to go to heaven without killing themselves or something. But it doesn't make sense if you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, seriously, if, if that pastor actually came up with facts, pop, 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 this is what's going on, this is what's going to happen, and sh presented the facts, I wouldn't even be making this video. I would, be out, I would be out researching if he was actually right or not. But I didn't even have to do the research, because that limited, limited amount I know about physics already showed me that he didn't know anything about it. And that's, 
ah, that's just, I, I, I can't believe that people are just so gullible that they don't do their own research. Just like that Nibiru 2012 thing. People didn't do their own research. If they did, they would understand. And don't get me wrong, I, I, I believe in the possibility that we have a second sun. I do believe in the possibility, simply because most most stars out there are binary or even have three or four some, sometimes even. You know, a lone, lone star is actually rare. However, if you do enough, we, yeah, I guess you will, you will have to know somewhat, somewhat of astronomy, but even if there is one, it's going to take a long time before we even see it, before it even comes close to do any damage. You know, we'll see it come from a long time. We have infrared telescopes that even amateur astronomers can use. And this is the thing that a lot of people do. I don't think they know that most people using telescopes are amateur astronomers. They're not working for NASA. They're not working for the Russian Space Agency or the Chinese. They're just people that are, am well, they are not, they're not amateurs, but they're not working for an agency. And they're using that. And if something like that would happen, they would see it. And with this certain thing, all right, granted, we don't have any amateur physicists walking around there, I guess. But just because something doesn't make sense to you doesn't mean automatically that it's something bad. You know, and all right, I saw the video of the CERN people dancing around. It was weird, I'll be honest with you. It was a weird video. But nothing there showed me that that, the, that it's something that the world is going to end, you know, and a lot of people are afraid because they have Shiva in front of the building. Oh, well, yeah, it was, Shiva is an Indian god, and it was a present from India. Do you understand? It was a present from India, and that is what they don't tell you. And there's a lot of reason, I, I, to be honest, I actually looked that up yesterday, I kind of forgot, but there was plenty of reason why they send that actual god or goddess or whatever it is to them as a present. But since it's an Indian goddess and it's a present from India, and you know, things like what they're doing in CERN has to do with uh, the molecular level, I don't really see that much wrong and yeah all right they made a video dancing like crazy and people t i mean uh, people talking about they show saturn rings and the, the, those aren't saturn rings that's the particle accelerator you know that those are the particles going in circles it has nothing to do with saturn and ah basically you know what all i want to say is people when you watch a video, because like I said, I'm also a conspiracy theorist to a degree, but do some actual research before you start quoting somebody, you know, before you believe in something. Because a lot of these people, they're just looking for signs of the world ending. And to you religious people, remember what Jesus said, you will not know the day or the week when he's going to come back. And again, I'm not religious, but this is for you guys. He said that you won't know when it's going to happen. So if someone gives you an actual date, 23rd of September, you should already know that that's straight up bullshit. You know, if someone gives you like a time frame, I could understand. But if someone gives you an actual date, 23rd of September, uh, 21st of December, then you should already know, no, 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 that's, that's not, that can't be right. Because we're not going to know the day when... Our Lord is going to come back, just to put it like that. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say, people. Nothing's going to happen the 23rd. Scientists aren't stupid enough to make, uh, to explode the earth or something. And all those scientists that they're quoting, Stephen Hawking and Neil deGrasse Tyson, they oh. didn't say anything against the particle accelerator. All right. I think Hawking's might have been a bit worried. Because, yeah, it could be dangerous, maybe, but that's not what they're trying to do. And Neil deGrasse Tyson, he's actually the one that was disappointed that that particle accelerator was made in Switzerland instead of in the U.S. He wanted that accelerator to be in the U.S. 
so yeah think about it do your own research don't believe just don't believe what somebody on the internet says all right I mean, if you if you like conspiracies, read up on it, but do your own research and make up your own mind. And don't wish for the world to end because yeah, the world is messed up, but ending it isn't going to do anything except end it. We should come together as one species and actually deal with the real problems in this world. And the real problem is not CERN, right? I could go on to what the real problems are, but that might be a video for another day. See you guys later. Yeah, this is another character. Peace out.